This time we'll be considering this topic, electrostatic force. This electrostatic force is also called Coulomb's force. But when you look at this word, electrostatic, there are two words there, electro. Electro means charged particles or charges. Static, something that is stationary, that is not moving. So electrostatic force is that force that acts on stationary charges. And then what do we, what, do we, what are we referring to this uh, charges? What are these charges? Normally we know that a charged particle can either be a proton or an electron. Charged particle can either be an electron that is negatively charged or a proton that is positively charged. So these are the charges we are referring to. And then we want to look at the force that exists between these charges. And that's the reason why electrostatic force is also called Coulomb's force. Because the scientist that discovered this is Coulomb. And that is the reason why it's called Coulomb's law. And then Coulomb's law is stated in two bases. You can either call it the first law and the second law. But before we go into the Coulomb's law, let's describe these uh, charges. If you have a positive charge and a positive charge, you are referring to like charges. If you have a negative and a negative charge, you are still referring to like charges. And if you have a positive and a negative, you are referring to unlike charges. So what is that force that exists between like charges? We know that like charges attract. Sorry, like charges repair. Like charges repair. So the force that is existing between these two like charges is the repulsive A repulsive force. The same way, the force that exists between these two light charges is also a repulsive force. So, look at this. We we'll talk about unlike charges. The force that exists here is attractive force. So, we say that light charges repair and it has a repulsive force. All light charges attract and the force between them is an attractive force. So, Coulomb's law the first one says that light charges repair like charges repair where unlike charges attract then the second one is before we go into the second one let's describe these two forces if you have Q1, 
as a charged particle equal to the a charged particle and Q2 is also a charged particle presented Q1, Q2 and is separated by a distance called R. So, if you have these two charged particles, Q1, Q2 separated by a distance R, if they are the same, just like we represented here, if they are like charges, what we exist between them is a repulsive force. But if they are unlike charges, the force between them will be an attractive force. So Column states that the force of attraction or repulsion between two given charges is directly proportional to the product of the two charges and inversely proportional to the distance, the square of the distance separating them. What that, that means is that if F is the attractive or repulsive force, is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance separating them. Let's look at the implication of this. Let's look at the implication of this statement. The force of attraction or repulsion is directly proportional to the product of the two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance separating them. So mathematically, we can state that F is directly proportional to Q1, Q2 all over R squared. The force, either attractive or repulsive, is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance separating them. You know, when you are talking about directly proportional, it means that if the force, if the product of the charges is increasing, the force will also, the two of them will increase. If they are decreasing, the two of them will decrease. But assuming for the second one, which is inversely proportional, if, for example, you have increased the distance, it means R, the distance is increasing, then the force will reduce. If you try to reduce the distance, if you try to reduce the distance, the force will increase. That is the implication of this. It means that the, either the repulsive or attractive force will increase if the distance is reduced. So, we know that we don't uh, work with a proportionality constant, so we need to introduce a constant. 1 all over 4 pi E naught times Q1, Q2, all over R square. Pi is a constant. This E naught is what we call permittivity in free space. The medium in which the two charges are brought together. Is it in the medium of air or any other medium? That's what we call permittivity in free space. 